I've got something see, special for just for you, you and see. there is a wonderful guest I, I know you you're going to be blessed by. Come on, let me take you to her office. I'm meeting with Kathy Taylor. You have heard this voice for a few decades, but I doubt that you've had the privilege to sit with this lady as I am sitting right now. Can I tell you what a blessing it is to talk to the one and only? Listen, <laughs> it's so good to be here with you. This you. is Kathy Taylor. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I'm fangirling right now. But you know what? Let me start by saying, and I must just establish this for everybody. It's not just a blessing to be here, but the blessing is that I know you on somewhat of a personal level that is beyond just doing the singing and, and the yes. ministry stuff. You have personally blessed me in a time, and I'll never forget this. This is part of the reason why I reach out to you as often as I do. I was in transition in my life, and this was almost 15 years ago, and I remember coming to you personally to sit in your office and get a little advice. Yes. You remember that? Yes. And, and, <laughs> Jesus. Woo. Okay. <laughs> and to get a little advice and perspective, and there are some things that I have literally repeated to others that you said to me in that season. Please. And I never will forget that because it really, it just helped me and blessed me. So we are here now because I want more people to know about what I've had the privilege of getting in on, just who you are. Cause we know singing, Kathy. No, yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We know singing. Oh goodness. Singing, Kathy. <laughs> we know singing, Kathy, but I want to know about you right now in your life. What what do you feel like God is doing in you? You know, um, you know, I I would have thought uh, now I would kind of be winding down, you know, you know, ready to retire, just chill and everything. Girl, He's <laughs> giving me vision after vision and things to do after things to do, and I'm just honored that He Amen. would still use me in a time such as this. Such you know, this. it is it's, very unique time. It is. I'm raising children. Now yeah. let's put it. Yes. We, we about, let's go. <laughs> I have some notes, but we, we like to keep it flowing now. Tell me a little bit about this new phase as mother and oh, parenting man. now. Oh, man. Listen, um, it's been a joy. It's the hardest job you'll ever do. And I, you know, I, I, I laugh at the, the singers that's been in the choir for years and years and years. And they tell me, look, my baby got the flu tonight. I'm not going to be able to come. I say, can't you leave with the daddy? Mm. And, you know, I understand. Now, no, I cannot uh. leave him. <laughs> you know. Different and kind uh, of compassion now. Yes, yes. Um, you know, it's it's been interesting, but it's, it's I'm, I, I feel myself coming full circle. Ooh. You know, every piece of me being fulfilled. Every piece of me being fulfilled. Yes. That's, that's a keeper. Yes. Because I, I believe God wants every piece yes. of us to be fulfilled and whole and complete. Yes. That's so good. So yes. tell me, how has parenting changed you for ministry? We know now you have more empathy for choir members yes. who, need, <laughs> who need a break. But just how is it? How do you feel like it's changed you, even in your delivery of messages and songs? It's changed me, um, first of all, to understand that people are coming from all, mm -hmm. all walks of life, all kind of. Uh, places, you know, and what was my reality was not everybody's, yeah. you know what I mean? So you have to, you know, how you speak to people or how you even, you know, how you lead people, mm -hmm. it has to be in a way that the masses mm -hmm. can receive your message, even if you have great intentions, yeah. you know, your your wording and how you, mm -hmm. how you present it mm -hmm. is so important. I think, and, and I can relate now that I'm married <laughs> and we both in new seasons, yes. I can totally relate because there are things I heard about, things I had good friends and, who were married who could tell me about, but now that I'm on the other side and I know, yes. not from an intellectual head knowledge, but yes. an experiential yes. Knowledge, yes. knowledge, it makes a big difference. Yes, it does. It makes a big difference. Well, let me just say you win it well, Carolyn. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, so, like I said, I have my notes here, but I want to talk about your relationship, not just here in Houston, because you were born and raised. Yes. H-Town yes. is your space. But tell me a little bit about where where would you say your second home is? What are the spaces and places that you move around very comfortably and maybe you have some heartstrings there? Well, I would have to say the DMV. Oh, okay. Yes. Wonderful. I love the DMV. Uh, it's a... 
And I, if I would ever live anywhere mm-hmm. else, it would be New York, though. Oh, really? Oh, now absolutely. Tell me why. Oh, just the shows. The, it's so musical and yeah. artsy, you yeah. know. And, in, and you know, I, I just love it, love it, love it. I brought, uh, I took my daughters to uh, New York for the first time, and we were driving her down Broadway. She said, Mother, I must live here. What does it take? <laughs> So with mothering, I know that it has made you more sensitive. It has made you more compassionate. But tell us a little bit about how you became a mother. Because I remember when I I contacted you and I was thinking about something in my own. You remember that yes, conversation? Yes, I, I do. <laughs> we had this conversation. So I remember I contacted you. And that's when I learned that you were a mother and I didn't even know it. So yes. give, us, give us kind of that update about what, what well, happened. Well, the Lord blessed me with two children, two beautiful, beautiful girls uh, through adoption. And I tell you, I have never known a love like this. I mean, for real, for real. And um, uh, one of my children is on the autism spectrum. So it's important to me, one, that we not be ashamed of our kids. Who are on the, they are different, mm-hmm. but it's a great difference. You know, yes. I mean, it's, they, it's them and who you are made, you know. And so I just want to bring awareness that, one, that even – people who are not artist, artistic, when you see an artistic person, that you don't uh, be uh, too, right, right. you Put know, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. But it's only because we don't have we the don't knowledge. Have. We, we have, it's not been brought to the forefront. And also, there's so much help available that our people don't know anything about. So it's, I kind of want to just have some places where they can yes. go and get the knowledge that they need, maybe get some help, some therapy, therapy that may bring your child much further along, mm-hmm. and and we don't even know it's around or that it exists. Right. So when but when I got little Eve, I we went to work. My husband and I, my husband is very much so an advocate. He'll tell me he's my advocate too. Okay. You yes, know. Absolutely. So absolutely, I'm sure so, he is. Yeah. So um, so so it's it's a lot of great help out mm-hmm. there, and then there are a bunch of children who need adopted. That's absolutely and, true. Yeah. So yes. I just want us to consider. You know, just to see if it, now it is strictly a calling. Yeah. I wouldn't just say everybody, yeah. you know, oh yeah, I got a room. I could, uh, no, no. So let me ask you this: mm-hmm. When did you know in your heart that you were ready and this was the path? Well, let me tell you. Uh, years ago, okay, I wanted to adopt, okay, and it just would not work. Mm-hmm. But I know I laid that on the altar years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, when I thought it was a no, it was really. Uh, not, yet. not yet. Yes. So God had to get me stable okay. and ready uh, for such a time as this. And he blessed me. I mean, I, I in a blink of an eye. Really? I, I'm it talking about happened. suddenly, yes. Wow. And, I, and, you know, and uh, God spoke to me when I, when I saw these two children. He said, are you going to just sing my gospel Uh-oh. or are you going to do my Uh-oh. gospel? And I answered the call. This is a blessing to hear. And it's making me think about now that you're in this new space. You've mm-hmm. had them, what, six years? Eight, nine, nine years. years yes. Nine years. Yes. Whew, all right. Now, take me back a little bit. I want to dig in now because you, what was it like in the pandemic? What was it like during the quarantine? Now that you're a mother, ministry is shut down a lot of places. You're in this whole new space of life. How does somebody yes. who is used to moving and going and and ministering and people probably, you know, your 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 events shut down, you know, booking mm-hmm. is, is dried up. But what was it like for somebody in that space? Like you, you know, I'm gonna be, you know, in that aspect, mm-hmm. COVID was a blessing. Yeah. You know, it stopped me in my tracks to get my home on board mm-hmm. and have time for my family. And you know, and I don't, I don't know that the world knows this, but I did do a, a video about it. My whole family got COVID. Oh, I remember. I yes, we remember were that. we were all at home, and I by then I had decided that I was going to start uh, trying to lose weight, mm-hmm. and I had a trainer to come over, and I was in the pool, and he was supposed to be up on the, mm-hmm. and some. Uh, mm-hmm. And so my whole family. Wow. Yeah, from I do that. remember that because we were praying for you. I remember. Yes, you thank be, you. Have some time in the hospital. Yes, right? I was in the hospital nine days. I remember. Yes, that. but uh, and but the children, honey, they was jumping on the trampoline. You think, oh, <laughs> <laughs> but the, the old parents really? were uh, trying to make wow. it. 
Yeah, Thank my God. husband my husband was able to stay home as well though, so that was a blessing. And praise um, God that you came through. Yes, you he came brought us through. out. You came through, of course, you know how they say you don't look like what you've been through, but yes. you came through and you now on the other side of it. Tell me, because I'm feeling like maybe was that the place that the refresher conference started brewing you or know was what? it before that time? It was actually before that. Okay. I did my first refresher conference here at the church for just the okay. women of Windsor. Okay. You know, and so um the Lord just said branch out and um mm. You know, I've I've always supported everybody yeah. doing everything, and I love it. So it, it was just my. It's, I just feel like it's my season it to follow my dreams. It and, is. I want to pause here because I, I need to emphasize this. This is part of the reason why I asked to have this time to talk with Kathy Taylor and to make sure that we remember and not forget those who support us, who sow into our ministries, who show up whether it's big lights or yeah. little gatherings, those who uh, just come alongside to lend their gifts and their talent, their voices. I remember in 2019, before the pandemic, I had a, a, my own birthday prayer breakfast and yes. you blessed us to sing there. And there are so many spaces and places that it's not broadcast out on social media. It's not in big lights, but she's present and showing up. And then when it's time, as you just said, for such a time as this, and God is saying, branch out. It's a blessing to be able to show up and support, not just because a warm body is in the seat, but yeah. to actually re expect that God wants to do something. Like yeah. pray and 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 give and tell your friends and get together and make it a girl's trip. Like yes. show up and be blessed, be refreshed. Yes, because you know, as women, we wear so, so many, many hats. You know, we're mother, wife, uh, boss, mm -hmm. uh, caregivers, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we just, we have just everything, all things to all people. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you need to pull away from that mm -hmm. and just re and, and I, and I'm doing that for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I, 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 uh, told my husband, you know, I wanted to be the perfect wife. Ooh. I wanted to be the perfect mother. I wanted to be the perfect minister of music. I wanted to be the perfect housekeeper. I wanted to be the most, the best cook ever. You know, I, you know, yeah, but when you, yes, <laughs> you know, but it's okay to be all those things with help. Amen. And, Amen. but, but in order to be the best of any of those things, I have to be the best me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm learning to even now just take time for Kathy. Yes. Because if I do that, then I'm a better mom, mother. Absolutely. I'm a better mother. I'm a better wife. I might not be the best or perfect, mm -hmm. but I'm a better minister mm -hmm. of music. I'm a better singing when I go out. Yeah. Tell know. me, tell us then, what are some of the things you do to refresh Kathy? What do you, what does it look like to take time for you? To take time for me, one is just, you know, I can sit out on my back porch, mm -hmm. just breathe fresh air, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, and just um uh spa yes, or just yes, <laughs> wonderful. Yes, it's the Lord's will. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So and and I love to swim actually. Really? Yes. All right. So I'm uh, uh in fact today I'm All getting right. I'm getting back to with this Houston heat you yes. have plenty of opportunities. Yes. All yes. right. Yes. So. What else is happening that's new for you? Let let's let's say we are into this next level mm -hmm. of refresh her. But what else is happening? Because I know you mentioned before you have a concert. It's yes. actually going to precede the full conference, but you got new music. Yes, got, I uh -huh. have. I have new music. We're, we're going to be recording a video and um, and uh, music. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> we also will be um, uh, doing uh, more of my own ministry as far as um, singing and, yes, yes, yes. and uh, mentoring. And I also believe I'm called to mentor yes. the next generation. Yes. You know, yes. I so enjoyed the talks that we've had. And, you know, we need a safe spot mm -hmm. we can go say what it is we need to say and you know it, there's nothing new under the sun nothing. you know and and the way the devil keeps us uh enslaved mm -hmm. is that we keep a secret yeah. Yeah. you're right and so and i'm also enjoying developing helping to develop my own children you know yeah because you know the things they think are important i'm just saying really you know <laughs> <laughs> you know i love it so well, tell us a little bit now let's let's focus 
specifically on Refresh Her. Tell okay. us about what's happening with the concert. You told us a video there, the dates, the information, where can we go to register, what's going okay. on? Who, who do you have? Let's, let's, wait a minute, hold on. We got to talk about this. The lineup, first of all. Let's talk about yes. who you have invited to be with you for this wonderful weekend and why. Because you've got like, you got so many great people. Some I know personally, just dynamic women, and some I've watched from afar. Like, oh my goodness, it's going to be a blessing. All yes. of this coming onto Houston, Texas. Well, I'll tell you. First of all, I just believe to put my best foot forward Amen. for God. You know, and uh, this is truly a faith walk for me. Mm -hmm. And God has certainly proven Himself faithful. Yeah. Uh, so I'm having Tamla Mann. Uh, she's a good friend of mine. I'm having. Uh, Miranda Curtis and Kiara Sheard. I want awesome. to have I want to have somebody for every generation yes. so that we all could feel a part. And that's the other thing. I want us in this uh, refresher, like I want to be able to say something, then I want you to be able to say something, and then I want a 20-year-old mm -hmm. to be able to say something on how we can share and communicate mm -hmm. better with one another. You know, you know. So so that's I wanted this conference to be holistic way mm -hmm. where it reaches the whole one but financially spiritually mentally if you're married if you're single mm -hmm. um if you need uh we even have some uh, some counselors on on uh, really? that will be there so you can good. schedule a little session with them if you like what? yes so on the spot like mental mm -hmm. health uh, yes. uh, evaluation or, or at least some support yeah some support really and then just say you know this maybe could just give you an encouraging yes. word. Yes. And then I also want us to be uh, okay stepping outside of our little box. Now that's, you know, I think that that's probably for me too, because I've, I've been very comfortable in my uh -oh. box, you know. So I'm just stepping out, and I want to encourage others to do that too. One of my daughters, um, she's actually a rocket scientist. Uh, wow. Yeah, she's going to do a session on go big or go home. Yes. You know, and then she's gonna talk about how you know she came from Baton Rouge, and you know, and when, how when she first got on at NASA, they didn't even think she was black. You know, I mean, she's just going through the whole uh, gamut. Of, so, and I just want to encourage us all. You know, God has given each of us a vision, and you know, we always we minimize God. And and what really put me on this path, I asked my 92 year old aunt, who now I have the opportunity to care give. Mm -hmm. I asked her, if you could do anything different in life, what would it be? She said, you know what? I would have asked God for more. I wouldn't have been satisfied. You know what? Well, and let me tell you something. She is a means. She got it going on. It's for real. But she said, I would have asked God for more. So it's okay. We can ask God for more. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Ooh. Um, yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you. Because I, I know that there is a struggle sometimes in the church world we come out of might sometimes, depending on where you are, cause you to feel well, you know, that, that humility, just that, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. And the whole idea of go big or go home or ask God for more, it seems in some traditions that it's you're trying to do too much or you're yeah. trying to be extra. Or, but by whose standards? Who we talking yes. about? You know, and it's okay. I, and I understand exactly where you, you are. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, I and, and let me tell you something. For me, honey, I have been living in a box and I've been saved and secured from all along. <laughs> honey, but... <laughs> But is that what God is? That all God has is that that little safety net. Yeah. But when are we gonna faith it? Yeah. The faith we've been talking about, the Absolutely. faith we've been, and, yeah. and and I'm just talking about the ideas that God put on your mind that you know to do. It's not about any more fame. It's not about fortune. It's not about. But it's about what God put on your mind to do. Will you trust Him and trust it? I'm preaching to myself right no, now. Oh, you helping me. I need to move on before my mascara messes up. Um, this leads me to what is important because this whole idea of the intensified life mm -hmm. is exactly what you just described. That's why I'm getting emotional because having the privilege of talking to people like you and others, some you may not know, but 
there's something about the connection that for me says these are individuals I want to share with the world to help inspire others know that we are to be intense and intentional yes. about the fullness of the life that God has purposed for us. Not living in the boxes, not yes. being stuck, get unstuck, get, yes. get out of that old routine, that old mindset. Um, what got you to that place? You said your, your aunt challenged you with her words, but yes. was there anything you had to overcome in your own mindset, in your own attitude, beliefs, being that had you stuck and comfortable in that box? You said you were safe, you know, you were satisfied, but what really pushed you to say, it's time? You know, uh, God will bring you to a place where, um, where he's just pricking you yeah. and nudging you and, you know, and, and it's like everything around me was mm. just not enough. That I, I call it like a holy discontent or an unsettledness yes. or restlessness like this. Got to be something. Yeah. What I do, I can do with my eyes closed. Right. You know, and I know there's more to God than that. And, right. and there's more, you know, and, and I just think that there's more women and more people. Yeah. You know, I wrote a song. Uh, because, you know, even like, you know, this is very transparent, you know, even when it comes to gospel artists, whatever, mm -hmm. I always felt like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. man, they doing this, they doing that, you know, but I was very, you know, God has blessed me. I am, I you know, don't let me by no such imagination. I, God has blessed me and I cannot complain. But I wrote this song. I was trying to help another artist, mm -hmm. you know, and she was a young, a young kid who wanted to aspire to be an artist. And I, you know, but her confidence was low. And God used her to build my confidence. Wow. So I saw I said, the song says confidence, confidence, uh -huh. confidence. Gotta raise my confidence. You remember the confidence, 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 yeah. Confidence, 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 confidence. It's time to raise my confidence. Now this, the, the verses was what sticks with me. No more walking through the back door. I'm walking straight through the front door, not trying to have an ego. I just understand my escrow. You see, I'm beautiful within and without. I got it going on within, without. I'm beautiful within and without. Got it going on within, without. Then the second verse is what gets me. I used to hide myself in the crowd. But now I'm ready to step out. Yes, I'm going to say it loud. For real, I'm fearless and proud. Come from a strong legacy. Got to wear it well and still be me. This is my reality. I'm a unique pedigree. Oh, I'm wearing my confidence. And that's, that's where we are now, you know. And, we, and our confidence is in God. Absolutely. I'm fearfully and wonderfully that's made. It. That's With it. his hands, he created me. That's it. And that's kind of the bridge. That's it. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. I so think that's, yeah, we got to make sure people hear that. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. So, okay, tell us now, where do we go to sign up? How do we get involved and get refreshed? Because you have blessed me just listening to you. But I hope all of you have heard from this lady's heart. You know her voice, but her passion, her personal life, her story. I feel like you have so much you pull together now in one place on another level to pour into even more. So yes. we got to get there. How do we get there? Okay. You can go to the refresh her experience.com mm -hmm. and all of the information on it. You can register for the conference and with your conference registration comes a ticket to the concert okay. or you can buy a ticket to the concert because men can come to the concert. Yes. And then men, you have to go home. The ladies don't have to stay. <laughs> And uh, uh, you can come up every day if you like, but we have great hotel rooms at the Hilton Americas, uh, which um, is great hotel great. and very reasonable rooms. Awesome. Um, so just the refresh her experience dot com. All right. Now, this this is for women everywhere. We don't yes. want you to feel like this is just a Houston thing. This truly right. is for women everywhere. So like I said, it's not too late. Make it a girl's trip. Get away for the weekend. Uh, so many have never been in Houston to experience Kathy Taylor on her home turf and yes. inviting all of her friends to gather. So what are, let's leave us with this. What are you expecting? What do you want women to leave with 
from this experience? I am expecting that God would encourage you to the point that you go and be new, refreshed, refueled, refined to do the will of God concerning you. Concerning you. And this has been an intense moment that has blessed me. I thank you for giving me the privilege to talk to you about this new level of ministry and how you've inspired so many and been inspired as well. Yes. Um, thank you all for tuning in. And I want to encourage you not to go to sleep on what's happening in this woman's life. She shared so much with us that I know some of you probably have never heard before, but this is the season, not just for women, for men as well. You heard something that you can take from this. I'm hoping that you will not only be here at the end of June. June 22nd. Mm -hmm, June 22nd. This is uh, her little postcard, but we're going to have the graphic up for you to see everything in addition to some of the great speakers and psalmist singers that she has available who will bless us. But listen, you need to go ahead and pass this on to somebody else. Thank you so much. God Don't bless. forget about her encouragement. Adoption is an option. It is a very good option. And make sure you get informed and get the support you need. If you have a child or a loved one who is on the autism spectrum, make sure that they get the support and you help us educate others. Yes. I am so blessed by this woman and I know you all have been for decades. So now let's pray for the Refresh Her Conference and make sure we pass the message. I am always blessed when I get the opportunity to speak to people who I know are making a difference for the kingdom of God. And so this is just one of many. Yes, I want you to stay tuned and make sure when you subscribe, like, and share that you also pass it on to a friend to make sure they get more of this Intensified Life experience. You're watching Intensified Life TV with Dr. This is my reality. I'm a unique set of A wrap. It's over. How you feel? I feel great. Thank you so much. Thank you.